Hi there, Sandra here from Create in Spain and Caesar Juliet Beginners to Pro. I have a project today that I want to make and I have cut out a piece of holographic vinyl. So I need to weed this. So let's see how we get on. Now what I'm doing here is a filigree design, so I'm basically leaving the lines behind and taking out the bits in between. So I have a lot of weeding to do here, but it's going to take me a while. I won't show you all my weeding, that would be a little bit silly. I'll come back a bit later on when you can see the results. So I'm getting there on the weeding, we're part way through, so you can see a large part of the design. Now this particular uh, vinyl is a foil holographic vinyl and I find the easiest way of weeding this because it's quite bouncy it's not like the usual vinyl where it just sort of curls up it's much stiffer than that is to actually put a pointy tool in and I've got a needle in this pen holder here and put it in at an angle and just lift up so you actually pierce all the way through and lift. And this is particularly useful when you have the really tiny bits that are really difficult to get an edge on. So you go into the center of it somewhere at an angle and pick up. So that's just how I find it is easiest to weed this particular type of vinyl. Okay, I've finished all my weeding. It took me a while, I can tell you. But it looks really nice. I'm very pleased with it. So what I need to do now is to be able to transfer it to what I need to transfer it to. And at the end, I'm going to use this, which is a piece of backing from some HTV. So the reason I'm using this is because it's stiffer than my usual contact vinyl. And this being a very fine design, it will be a lot easier, I think, to transfer it like that. So I've got my design. What am I going to do with it? I have a card I want to put it on. So what I did here was I created an offset of this design, added it to a rectangle, put a score line down the centre of it, and now what I can do is line this up. Because this is quite stiff, it's going to be easier to line it up than it would if I had anything that was floppier. So, I think that looks about it. And peel this off. And I did test it to make sure it wasn't going to take my card off with it. And sometimes sticky things can do that. I'm going to take this away from here. That sometimes grips onto the card a bit too much. So I'm going to do that. And then the little bit, tiny little bit of leaf can either be trimmed off or folded over that edge. And, and there I have my card. Very, very simple, very classic, and very delicate looking, and I really quite like that. Now all you have to do is to put a sentiment inside. So I think that works out really quite well with the holographic vinyl. I think it's a very nice, very clean card, a classic, and it was worth doing all that weeding to get that effect. Okay, the file will be linked down below as usual. Now, if you don't want to do it with a vinyl, there is also a version in the design where you could just put a pen in your holder and use that to draw it. So if you've got fancy pens, you may be able to do it with those instead. Alternatively, if you have a glue pen, you can put a glue pen in and use it to draw the design of the glue pen and then foil it. And that can give you a really nice result as well. So they're very similar 
ways of doing it, but they all provide very different results. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care.